So it doesn't matter what level of catamaran sailor you are, you're going to need some way of getting your boat from the beach into the water. That's right, we're taking a look at the launching trolley. Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Today, we are going to take a look at using the launching trolley. The launching trolley might also be known as the beach wheels, the beach dolly. I've heard someone call it the bogies. There's basically two different types of launching trolley uh, that are commonly used. These would be the standard metal bar with a cup at each end which holds the hull. You've got the wheels and that's all there is to it. Or the frame style of launching trolley which is a bit more involved. There's a bit more to it but it means you don't have those fiberglass trolley cups. Instead the boat will just sit on the arms just there. So the component parts of a launching trolley, we've firstly got the metal bar that runs along the middle. If you're building your own, that bar is going to need to be at least 40 centimeters wider than your boat. We then have, of course, the wheels. They don't necessarily have to be the big wheels like this. These big wheels are good if you're moving your boat over rough surfaces or perhaps soft sand or a stony beach, something where smaller wheels would just sink in and be very difficult. If you're just moving your boat on tarmac, concrete, or in a marina, something like that, then the smaller wheels like this will be fine. Between the wheels and the bar, we've got bearings which are basically like plastic rods that fit inside that allow the wheel to rotate on the axle and then we've got trolley cups on the outside these can be custom shaped to the shape of the hull or more of a generic shape like here which will fit a variety of different types of boats these can be attached to the bar using any sort of method here. Like here we've got like a clamp, or here it's actually bolted through the whole lot. It's important to have some sort of soft surface on these cups so that we don't damage or scratch the hulls. And then at the end of the bar or axle, it's a good idea to have uh, some ropes coming out which we can then tie on to the boat to prevent the trolley from slipping. Okay, so here is the operation of the frame type trolley with the handle. We've got Bastian, who is handle operator, Connell as boat lifter. So Connell is gonna lift the front of the boat. As he does that, Bastian is gonna avoid Connell's ankles, pushing the trolley under the boat, making sure that it's central and pushing it all the way back to the balance point of the boat. The balance point is generally somewhere between the front beam and the shrouds and now the guys can wheel the boat to the water just making sure that the boat stays level so that we're not going to touch the ground with the hull. And operating the normal type of trolley we've got Kate who's going to be trolley operator, we've got Vittorio who's lifting the boat. Now what's very important is that Kate does not bang her head on the dolphin striker. Again, getting to the balance point, somewhere near to the shrouds with the Pacific here. And then with the ropes coming from the end of the trolley, we find that if we take the ropes forwards to the bridle wire, and we just loosely tie that off on the bridle wire on both sides, that means that if the trolley catches on a rock or anything, it's not gonna slip backwards. And once again, wheeling the boat, keeping it level so it's not possible for part of the hull to touch the floor. If in doubt, it's a good idea to have 
the end of the boat which you're closer to, which would generally be the bow, just a little bit lower because then you know it, you're not going to touch the floor. Okay, so now the boat's in the water. We want to take the trolley out. So first we're going to need to untie the ropes and then keeping the trolley square and even, so an even pull on both sides, one hand on the front of the boat, one hand on the, the rope, pulling it out from the front, maybe just lifting the front of the boat a little bit if necessary. And then here in Greece, we don't have any tide, but of course, if you were in a tidal area, you'd want to be placing the trolley on the beach further up than the high tide mark. So if you need to take the trolley out from the boat and there are two of you and you're taking the trolley out on land, it's always better for one person to grab the trolley like Lucy's demonstrating here by the bar and then the other person just to lift the boat slightly. Okay, so withdrawing the trolley, much better control that way. So we're less likely to cause damage or hit anyone in the legs. Okay, and then of course we might be having to put the trolley under the boat without any help. So what I would do here, if we're using the frame type trolley, I would lift it up, get it to a good angle, and put it under the front of the boat, and then we need to lift the boat and push it under. And then once we get to this stage, what we can do is actually push up from the bridle wires. And that way we can get the trolley under the boat. Again, going for the balance point. And there we are. And then taking the trolley out from under the boat, I would just grab the bow here, grab the handle of the trolley and kind of slide her out. And if it's a 16, then we can actually use the curve in the hull to gently lower the boat down. This is similar to if you would be in the water doing this technique. And then if we're using the traditional type of launching trolley, then the single-handed method here would be to get it under the front of the boat and then we're just gonna push with the foot, pushing as far as we can. And then once we get as far as we can from there, you could grab a line like the writing line, just lift the hole slightly and then push it under the rest of the way, just sliding the trolley under the boat to that balance point. And from there, we'd then tie the boat on and then from there we tie the trolley on like we did before. And then if we're taking a trolley like this out solo, what I would do is grab both of the ropes and then you could put both of the ropes in one hand, adjusting the lengths so that you're pulling both sides evenly, lift one bow and then we're just pulling and out she comes and that would be the same for if we were in the water if you're having to move the boat to put the sails up what i would generally suggest is before you put the sails up to pull the trolley out again and then what you can do is leave the trolley about halfway from the front beam to the front of the boat before you put the sails up if you try putting the sails up with the trolley under the middle of the boat, the boat will be extremely unstable and it could rock onto the bows, potentially causing damage. One thing you could also consider is some sort of hull supports which sit under the back of the boat, like we have here. These we've actually made out of some polystyrene. You can buy these ready-made or 
there's a variety of different things that you could use as hull supports. This means that if you're wheeling your boat to rig it up on a surface which wouldn't be kind to the hulls, then you can put the back of the boat down on the floor and it's not gonna get scratched. Put it in the comments below what you use as hull supports and maybe everybody can get some inspiration from your ideas. So there we go. I think that is possibly all that you need to know about with launching trolleys. Thanks very much to everybody who's been supporting the channel on Patreon. If you wanna get involved, just check out the link in the description below. Otherwise, I'll be back soon with some more on Joyrider TV. Thank you very much.